Aku bisa masuk orang mudi mudi aku apa? Walau mana wujud, hari aku berkafua, hari aku kotor kabulnya, biar baca katola. Kita ada di Jamuhela. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jual soalnya mudi mudi apa lang? Kau itu sesi kebun tuena. Hauna mudi apa lang? Kau sangat kau. Kebaya mata mukor benda kau kau mudi muka ufer lebat. Eu gosto de tua nam, vai ver ele ir, vai entender o que eu falei lá, vai ver a situação o final lá, ganhar muito, mal vai ganhar pelo que eu ganho muito, moro muito, vou muito se beleir na, o teu amor, o teu amor já vai para na, eu vou ganhar pelo polo, eu vou ganhar pelo polo só, eu vou ganhar pelo colo, eu vou ganhar pelo ranho lue, pelo joalho, mas muito moro para pelar. Se ele for o homem na hora de matar, a hora o fazer na. Aleluia. Então temos de mudar o lema do sumo na. O mano um pouco já quer apelar que vai copiar na. Então temos hoje uma emissão na TNT. O bona de lota bona. O bona de cobota bona. O bona de que tal te vai pedir lito na. O bana masuk ke afi abah abah kita wana, mungkin lemah coba hati di bawah wana, memudi makan macam susu bagai jenuh, ujau hiu coba nama leh, mudi makan, sebab susu kan kaji bawah pesona, se shilling sebola uang kesatan, asuh esepile, jadi macam awak semal nanti ambil si milik apa nak, kaji jenuh afi di sini macam lalu lau. Dadi hau hela ba ruaji lue, kaji wa mwana wa 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 mwana mashamba lula hau, kia ba rapel, miki atwa rukuki le muzi, kaka na sambori ya fela kwa sotili, amen. Glory be to God. We are about to come to the word of the Lord. Rea lejo la muzi. You can sit down, you can sit down now for a while, you can sit down. Can we go to the garden and do that? Bengi chingo fila lapa Bengi chingo shara ujena Ego tine nihe Kise da shi gana
I want to pray for a woman or two before I. Your problem of the breasts. I want you to stand up and come and stand here in front. Because the hand of the Lord will bring a solution to that part of you. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. Just come. When I finish speaking, you must check your breast. That suffering is gone. That suffering is gone. Don't be afraid. 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 Don't be afraid.
come to God. What only God can do. For 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 what only God can do. And no one else can do. Only God can forgive all your sins. Only God can clean your heart. Only God can set you free from your sins. Only God can give you a place in life that you cannot achieve by your culture or by any other means. So you are here before God tonight because there's something only God can give you. If some doors in your life were shut down against the will of God those doors are going to open because that's what only God can give you. If people have shut you, shut you out of life, and they look at you and they say to you, you will never become anything. Only God can make you somebody when you can't be somebody on your own. What you cannot do for yourself, the Lord is able to do for you. So when you come in a meeting like this, you must come with great expectation. You must be able to say, I'm coming before God Almighty. What people can't give to me, God can give me. What no one can show me, God will show me. When nobody can take me, when I don't know what I'm doing, God will take me down. When I don't know what I'm doing, God will take me down. Glory be to God. Amen. It doesn't matter how long you have been there. If that sadness, if that fear, if that pain, God will give you a place in your life. Only God can say. So we are in the presence of the one who is able to say. Only God can say. Only God can say. Once again, I welcome you tonight. Only God can say. 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 You are important to God. You are important to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. The book of First Kings, chapter eighteen. The chapter eighteen. Verse two verses today. Verse twenty-three and twenty-four. Verse twenty-three and twenty-four. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. There is an asthma condition that God will heal tonight. Short breath, asthma, whatever it is. The problem of breathing. Asthma, TB, whatever is going to do with breathing. The Lord will release your lungs from that bondage you'll be able to breathe without struggling for the Lord will touch you today and that situation will change is somebody hearing me is somebody hearing me today is somebody hearing me today glory be to God amen. glory be to God amen there is a problem of the stomach that the Lord will heal. Stomach. Dimba. Stomach. Mba. Stomach. Which you have to pay attention. And that the Lord will heal. Whether there's poisoning there or whatever it is. Your stomach is restless. Your stomach is giving problems. The Lord will heal you. You will not see that again. Is somebody hearing me? The Lord will heal you. In the name of Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. There is somebody, you are on medication, but the medication is wrong. 
Because the doctors have made a mistake. The doctors did not follow. They gave you wrong medication. Don't take them to court. Oscar Baisha. When you get to for checkup, they will take away the medication that given you because it was wrong. Then we have to do the other research work. And they'll give you the right one if you if you need. Okay. Amen. So when you go for checkup, they will take away the medication they gave you before. You know God loves you. He cares about simple things about you. God loves you. You are important to God. The Bible says we were all made in the image of God. All of us. People can, can do wrong things to your image. You can do wrong things to the image of God in you. You can say wrong things about, about what God gave to you. You can say wrong things about your nose. You can say wrong things about your nose. Because it doesn't look like someone's nose. Why must your, must your nose look like someone's nose? Why? Why must your skin look like someone's skin? Each one of you was made by God. And God makes everything beautiful in its own way. But whatever sickness has damaged, Whatever the devil has damaged, the Lord will bring grace there. Glory be to God. Amen. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 18, verse 23. Therefore, let them give us two bulls. Let them choose one bull for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood. And Go ahead. Verse 27. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. The story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal is a story that happens everywhere in this life. You either serve the Almighty God. Or you will serve the gods of culture. You know, culture can create anything. They can create a god. When we grow up in this world, before we know Christ Jesus, we are taught what you call culture. And culture is not a wrong thing. It's just a human thing. It's a human thing. That is why, that is what culture is. We all have culture when we are here. That's why somebody is stronger, somebody is stronger, somebody is better, and so forth. All that is part of culture. And no culture is better than the other. Although some people think like that. There are some black people who think, who think white culture is better. That's, that's, that's the problem. That's your problem. All cultures are the same because they, are, they were made by people. Culture is human explanation. 
Culture is human explanation. He tries to tell you where you come from, why you are alive, and then how must you live, and where you go from here. That's what makes a culture a culture. It explains to you where you come from, why you are here on earth, how must you live, and where you go from here. That's what makes a culture a culture. It explains to you where you come from, why you are alive, and then how must you live, and where you go when you die. So when the gospel comes, it finds us in our own culture. And what we are creating is the culture of heaven. Heaven 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 is the you can go to the water and find a crocodile. And say this one must be God. This one must be God. Yeah, some of you you are about Kwena. You are about Kwena. You are about Kwena. You call yourself the old animals. The division of the world is going to be. Yeah, some of you are my elephant. 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 Some are spring ball. Some are buffaloes. When you are drunk and you are happy, you say I'm a buffalo. Yes, when you are drunk. When you are sober, you can't say that everywhere. People will think you are mad. But what do you know? You are a human being. But you call yourself a lion. But when you are drunk, people know that is beer talking. But when you are drunk, people know that is beer talking. But when you are drunk, people know that is beer talking. So culture, I want you to know, we all have it. I understand my culture. I, I, you know, I asked my parents, grandparents, who we are, where we come from. I know the story. Of where we started, and then why Mzilikazi died in Zimbabwe. He was running away from Chaka. Those who were weak along the way, who could not walk to Zimbabwe, stayed and then they stayed there. So there are so many stories to tell us why do we have independence in Zimbabwe. I, I, I know that. So no culture is better. I only say to say no culture is holy. I only say to say culture is simply people explaining themselves. People explaining themselves, try to identify themselves, and there is no culture that has God in its explanation. No, they are the old. They can create a God, but they don't know God Almighty. They may suspect there must be God somewhere, but no culture knows God by itself. So therefore, it's very important. I want for you to know these things. Because when the word of God comes to us, it finds us in a particular culture. The schools of this world, they promote the culture of the world. Yes. And so our leaders promote the culture of, of the people. But no human culture Knows God. For the Bible says, all have sinned. All have sinned. And they fall short of the glory of God. Now, this refers to the culture of all people. You can undermine your own culture. You say, I don't want to be called. Tonga anymore. I want to be called Mutwana. That's your personal problem. That's your personal problem. You run from one problem, one problem to another. Because Batwana have their problems. The vendors have their problems. The parents have their problems. So if you jump to another culture, you are getting their own, their own problems also. Now the story of Elijah is something important here. Yeah. He found himself in, among people. They once knew God. But when they met other nations of the world, they liked the gods of other people. They found some people making a god who looks like a cow. And the Bible says. Now the king killed all the prophets of God. 
Shut down the worship of God Almighty. He says, you can worship somebody you cannot see. The king creates many images in the country. And told people you must worship this thing. And the king chose even his poor prophets. The prophets who do what he likes. The Bible says there were 850 prophets. And the new God they created. They call him Baal. 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 People everywhere do that. When the gospel goes, it finds us already worshiping something. Now the man we call Elijah was the only prophet of God who was not killed, who was not chased away from the country. So one day, he just decided by God's calling to say, I am going to start a contest, a competition. These people pray to what they created. And they talk to demons. And they reject God. Let me challenge their God. Then when he called them, they said, Yeah, we found him. We will kill him. He said, No, before you kill me, let's do this. You think that the God you created is the true God, right? They said, Yeah, this is a the court of the king. God. And there are many people, 800 prophets. And Elijah said, Let the two gods fight. Let the two gods prove themselves. And the God who answers by fire. Let him fight. And the God who answers by fire. Let him be God. How does he do it? Now he says, bring two bulls. One bull is mine. One bull is yours. You kill it. You put the meat on the wood. And then I will kill my bull. Put it on the on the on the on the wood. But don't don't light any fire there. Call your God. If God sends your God sends fire, then we will say He's a true God. If my God sends fire, then we will say He's true God. Elijah was a true believer in God. He was like many of you. On Sunday you are born again. On Monday, on Monday you are you are you are Mutwana. That's why you cannot see the power of God. That's why you can see the power of God. Why? Because you're not even sure. I know many black people. Even those who are rich and powerful, who say the gospel is something for white people, and then uh, they will accept it, or some want to mix it. Some want to mix the gospel with their culture. Because in their minds, they the gospel is the word of white people. And they are wrong. Uh, 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 and they are wrong. They just like their culture, but there's no salvation in that culture. For example, in the African culture, we believe in sacrifices that the blood of animals can take away our problem. And it does not work. We do it because we like it. And because people have been doing it for a long time. Not because it works. Not because it works. We like the voice of the Sangoma. Not because Sangoma is a true prophet. But because our parents did that. Long time ago. Not because they can help you. But because it is in the culture. And people will love culture not because it works, but because they made it. They created it. In Mark chapter 7, 
Jesus is saying the greatest enemy of the word of God is human traditions. Now, why? Because human traditions, people make it and they teach it and they give it to your children not because it is true not because it is solving the problem but it's because it's how they explain themselves they identify themselves that way now when the gospel comes to us it finds us already in a religion it finds us worshiping what we chose. It finds us worshiping what we like. It finds us worshiping what we are taught. But Elijah was a different believer. Elijah was a different believer. It was very fair. He said, it is time to test the gods. The God you created, the God you chose, the God of the water, the God of the mountain, the God of the trees, the God of the animals, the one you like, the one your grandparents served, or the almighty God. Who created all things? Who is the maker of all things? Elijah was very fair. And when Christ just came in the world, he came with the same challenge. You cannot serve God and serve the devil at the same time. You can't worship God and worship a tree at the same time. You can't follow God and follow the dead at the same time. But we, we, we cannot say this. Elijah was very fair. Just to undermine what you believe. We cannot say this. Just to undermine what you believe, there must be evidence. There must be evidence. When the gospel of God came into the world, it found all people worshiping their own way, following their own way. So when you see people dressed in the way they worship, don't undermine them. That's what they were told. That's what they were told. That's why Christ says, I will build my church. And there's one sign of my church. It will not be afraid of the gates of hell. It will overcome the gates of hell. What, what are the gates of hell? What, what are the gates of hell? What are they? They are the spirits of darkness that are controlling the nations of the world. The spirits of darkness, spirits of animals that people chose. So Christ Jesus says, my church will carry one sign. The child of God will carry one sign. You will defeat the gates of hell. Now, which means defeat the gates of hell, it means you will prove that Jesus alone is Lord. You will prove that there's only one almighty God who can do what he says in his way. That's what Elijah did. He said, let us do that. And the story goes on to say, 800 men, they began to pray from the morning. They said, hey, one, bring fire. One o'clock, they were still crying. Hey, one, bring fire. No fire came. Then Elijah stopped them. Elijah stopped them. And said to them, you see now, let me call God, the Almighty One who made all things. He made electricity, he made fire. Then Elijah began to call. And the fire came down and burnt the water, burnt the sacrifice. And all the people knelt down. They said, God Almighty, He is God. Now, this is the power of the gospel of Christ Jesus. Not everybody who prays, prays to God Almighty. You know that. Not everybody. 
There are people who are hearing me today who say, No, we are also praying. I have no problem with that. I will be wrong to say you are not praying. You are praying. Someone will say, Yes, I also believe. I have no problem with you believing in the cow or the snake. People believe. People believe. Before we know God, we find ourselves in beliefs. But there's something about the beliefs. Those beliefs of culture don't know what to do with sin. In the heart. They don't know what to do with sin in the heart. They cannot bring a change of life. They cannot overcome the devil. They cannot overcome the devil. They cannot lead you to the Almighty God. It's like a dumb that you can keep on sucking nothing comes out of it but you suck it because those who gave me were sucking it as well now there's no culture of the world that can explain to you correctly why you are a human being why you are alive how must you live and if you die where do you go from here? So Elijah said to the people, we are going to test the gods. And I want to, I want you who believe in Christ to have the same spirit of a challenger. Have the same spirit of a challenger. Now there's something about the, about, about the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus yes, so, oh, will do every truth you tell about him. If you tell people, oh, he will heal them, oh, he will come down to him. Oh, if you tell people, oh, he will save them, oh, he will come down to save. Oh, if you tell people, oh, he will bless them, oh, he will come down to bless them. Oh, every truth you speak about Jesus, he will do it. If I come here and preach about healing, you will see people will be healed. Every truth about Jesus that we tell, he appears to prove it because he's the God who answers. Every truth. That he will tell you about Jesus. He will come down and do it. Let me explain the truth and then, then we are going to close. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In this life, the gods of this world will keep on challenging people. They will keep on challenging the believers. And I want Christians who can say, let us have a show, let's have a debate. Let your God show. Let your God show. Let me give you one, one testimony for some years, some, some years ago, the first born at home, my own sister. My own sister at home. She developed cancer of the womb. Because I was a child at home, I said to myself, I'm not going to interfere. You know, they brought Sangoma after Sangoma. And I was watching. They brought prophet after prophet. Because their child was sick. You know, they tried everything. And my sister was becoming weaker and weaker. Because of the cancer. She was losing blood. She, she ultimately became bones. Now I saw my mother sitting and saying, now we don't know what to do. I kept on praying alone. And crying to God. Lord, one day I went to pray. And God answered my prayer. And God answered my prayer. And said, and said, we have tried everything for you, sister. Now we are asking you. That we will bring her in your room. We will make her sleep on the floor. Maybe the God you call every day can do something for us. I saw them trying what was taught by the culture. I saw them trying. I said to my mother, You are right, ma. 
bring my sister. The Lord Jesus will heal, will heal her. Jesus Christ told Then I prayed for three days with fasting. And midnight God said to me, now I will heal your sister. Call your parents. I want to call my parents. I knock at the door. My mother asked her, who's there? I said, it's my mother. She began to cry. She thought I came to announce that your daughter has died. I said, where is Papa? She said, he's here. I said, come. She was, she was trembling. When they got into my room, I said, them kneel down. They knelt down. Yes, no. I was telling my parents to kneel down. They knelt down. Why they knelt down? It's not because of God. It's because it was their first born most day. Parents can pay any money to save a child of theirs. Then I said to them, I said, Oh, you are not going to go to the hospital. You are not going to go to the hospital. You are not going to go to the hospital. You are not going to go to the hospital. You are not going to go to the hospital. Then they, they were nearly looking down like this. Then I prayed a simple prayer. I said, Lord Jesus, show my mother and my father today that you alone are God. Then I put my hand on my sister. As a sister, the Lord Jesus is healing you. Jesus Christ, oh, yeah, foolish. Get up. Amen. She coughed and got up. I was sure I am. My mother fell down and fainted. Pamaka, I was in the van. My father got up and left the room. Pamaka, I am. La, I told her, Mary. That was in nineteen eighty-six. Even when I was nineteen eighty-six. This year she's sixty-five years old. When I was only when I was sixty-five. She's got cause for grandchildren. You go go on the day the tour. Hallelujah. Now five ten years later. My mother accepted Christ. She said, I want your God to baptize me. In ninety-five. Then my father, ten years later, my father followed. Now I was not in the house now. Because God answered. And proved to them. That he is God Almighty. Now the gospel of Christ Jesus. We don't go about criticizing people. For, for their trouble. But we demonstrate that Jesus Christ, Christ loves you. And God is bigger than every that you that have ever known. We don't disrespect We don't disrespect people's cultures. But we demonstrate that there is salvation. And that salvation comes only from Christ Jesus. And when they turn to Christ, they begin to realize that there is God Almighty. So tonight, the same battle is still going on. The battle of the gods. I know there are some of you teaching you today. The God you worship is not the one of the Bible. Not all the churches you know worship all the God. They don't. They go there, they make a culture, they, they pray the way they like. And I don't want any child, any, any Christian to become angry with them and call them names. One day they will believe and they will believe the God who answers but by fire. The God who answers by fire. The gospel of Christ Jesus has proven to be the voice of God. Everywhere where it is preached, people are delivered from sin. People are delivered from demons. People are connected to God Almighty. People 
will overcome demons. Everywhere the gospel goes, it shows that it is the voice of God. And this night I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you. What God are you following? What God are you following? You can hide and do it in secret. They say in the place of democracy, People have a right to pray what they want to pray to. No problem. I have no problem with your right. But my question is, does it change your life? Does it give you a new heart? Does it connect you to the Almighty God? Does it bring meaning into your life? Does it tell the truth into your life? Are you becoming a better person? By watching me what you watch it? Are you becoming a better person? Or you remain the same person? You remain the same crew? It is only in the gospel of God. Christ Jesus. Where the gods of the nations will fall down. Where the gods of the nations will fall down. When I came to Christ Jesus, I didn't fight with my, my culture. I, 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 I want to say, but I'm no longer going there. He said to me, we worship this the corner. I said, I found God. So I can't worship this place. He said, but this, this I said, I found God. I said, I worship this one. I left. I said, you can go ahead. I found the living God. You see, when you worship God Almighty, you don't need a human mediator. You don't need a lawyer between you and God. You can talk to Jesus from wherever you are without using anything. In the culture of the world, they must get a vote. Talk to whatever. They must get something. But in the gospel, you can talk to God directly. No nothing in between. Nothing in between. Any people who give you things that you must use to worship. The thing you worship is not God. Anything that requires human strength, human tricks to be worshipped is not God Almighty. But God Almighty you worship from where you are. You can talk to Him. You can connect to Him without anything in your culture. Without anything of the world, you can connect to God Almighty. God does not need help. God does not need help. God does not need help. If he needs help, he's not the Almighty God. I can't help it. 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 No, I found him. The whole world is looking for God, but I found him. The one whom we found is the one everyone is looking for. That's why when we preach Jesus, anywhere when they hear about Jesus, people turn to him. They are born again. They they begin to find the light of life everywhere on the world. Because all the cultures are blind. They try to feed him. Maybe God is like a tree. Maybe God is like Svali. Maybe God is like... They keep guessing. They keep guessing. But the gospel... That is the word of the Lord. Where do you fit in there? The God who answers by fire. What does the fire do? Four things are close. Number one. When the fire of God appears to you. When the fire of God touches you. Your eyes will open. 
Mashua, you will know who you are. First thing, you will know who you are. You will know who you are. Many of you here in the middle of the night, who you are, you were told by people, and they were lying to you. They say, uh, you are a vendor, and vendors are better than songers. Then you go around here thinking that because you are better, then you are better. That's not who you are. That's a rumor. When the fire of God comes upon your life, you begin to know who you are. And how, who are you? You are the image of God. I was made by God. I was made by God. I was made by God. All people were made by God. All people are equal. All people are equal. Some can have more money. Some can have less money. But all people are equal. I am not less than anyone. In place where there is democracy, where there's democracy? All of democracy comes from the word of God. Democracy comes from the word of God. Democracy What democracy says, democracy as a human being, you have a right to decide. To make a choice. And the choice you have made. You are going to die with it. Or die for it. No one must choose for you. I will no one must. You are going to choose. What, what you hand. choose is what you are going to have. When you see people to a toy against other people, it's because they feel that other people don't accept them as equals. They treat them like less than people. They fight for equality. Now when the fire of God comes down, you know who you truly are. You also were made in the image of God. That is number one. Number two, when the fire of God comes upon your life, eyes will open. You will begin to realize the things which are allowed in your life and those which are not allowed in your life. You begin to know what are the things which are damaging the image of God's image. You know right from wrong. You begin to know even the spirits what in the world that these things because I am the image of God no demon belongs to my body no demon belongs in my mind no demon no demon no demon is my parent you begin to reject the things that are trying to damage the image of the body that's why those who are born again don't smoke we don't drink beer. Not because it's a law of the church. It's because we know who we are. We can take the house of God and make a stove out of it. If this body is the house of God, there are some things I won't put into it. Not because there's some one's law from somewhere. I found out who I am. When the fire of God comes down, sin in the heart, it is dissolved. The things that were controlling you, you now control them. You no longer follow your stomach. You follow what? God wants. You, you desire the things of God. It all begins in the heart. When the fire of God begins to Fall upon the light. You are going to know what, what is right and what is wrong. And you are going to be able to choose what is right. No one must come and force you. No one will come and force you. No, you will stand up and say, Why not because I am a child of God. Because, because my sins are forgiven. Therefore, these things I do, these things I do not do. That's very important. That's very important. When the fire of God comes, 
you will know that you are not a child of time. You are a child of eternity. That whether you die or you are alive, you belong to God. Christ came to bring eternal life in the culture. If you ask them what happens to people when they die, no, you'll get stories. Someone says, no, when they die, they come back. They become ghosts, they spook you. Some say, no, when they die, they, they become our angels. You know, someone who never went, to, never went to church, never prayed once. When he dies, they say, what rappel? Your problem is you're not, you're not thinking correctly. This person said there's no God. Church is a lie. Then he dies. Ah, because a human being. He's not dying because of the people. No, he dies because all people must die. He dies. Then when he does, you come and say, Our Rukopele, Rukopele, my God, no, 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 this person could not learn to pray on earth. And then you believe he will pray when he's gone. You believe too much. You believe too much. You believe too much. When the fire of God comes, you know who you are. You know who others are. You know why you are here. And you know where you go when God answers by that fire all the time. That's why I believe the snowboard God cannot say. Even if you've been a smoker for 40 years, you can stop smoking and have a clean body. Even if you a witch for, for, for 60 years, you can be born again and be a clean person. There's something the fire of God does. It takes you back to your glory. The glory of being a child of God. The glory of being the image of God. The fire of God gives back to you the things that connect you to God. The fire of God puts you to do the things that God wants you to do. Even in 2021, Jesus still answers the fire. Fire burns fire. fire destroys something. Fire purifies something. That's what happens when the class comes into your life. When God comes into your life, he finds some things which must not be there. Fire burns them. When God comes into our life, he finds things which, which have rusted, rusted. The fire of God will purify it. It will purify your talent. It will purify your talent. Because talent is a gift of God. The day you are born, God puts ability in you. But your sin can corrupt it. Your sin can cause it to rust. When the fire of God comes upon your life, then the talent is, is purified. You will now become useful. You can now make money without stealing. Using the wisdom of God. So God still answers by fire. And one thing about the fire of God, I want to conclude with here, is that fire protects. Every child of God is protected by the fire of God. God knows why. He protects you by fire. I was preaching somewhere in. You know some witches take chances. I did not know that there were witches who wanted to take chances. I only knew when this witch testified. She just came to church and she wanted to talk. Wait, 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 sit down, go, go, sit, sit. Go, go, give me chance. No, I want to, I want to speak. Okay, pastor, pray for me. I said, are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. Then I, I made her to speak. Yo. She said, since you came with the tent, we know where you sleep. Like when I go to sleep in my hotel, in my house, I don't know what the neighbors there. And she says, 
One night we came to visit you. But when we, when we stand up to the gate, there was no house. We looked around. We looked for the house and the house was gone. At five in the morning before we child, the house is there. And we go there. Where did the house go? Then the following day we came. And then when we came, we just saw fire surrounding the yard. We said, we never see something like this. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't get near. Then the rain is away. away. That day she says, when we came, we saw that where, where there is a house, we, we saw a little. very big, big dam. We were scared. Very then we realize that there is something you have which is bigger than us. My friends ran away. But I came. I don't want that life anymore. I want to be born again. When God answers by fire, He does that. In my place where I was born, there are something wonderful there. There is the same fire. And 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 the same fire. A little girl, I don't know if they are kids like that. I, I think they are there. I don't know if she was 10 or 11 years. She was Gogo's donkey. You see, Gogo was naughty. Ne? And there are some witches. They use their grandchildren as donkey. When they go, when they, when they go to work, they ride on the You must ask teachers. Which shama teacher? Some children when they go when they get to school they are not going to school. Come to when I want to see you. Why are you the mood? The child does not know. Can you go go and ask let's go? Every day the child sleeps at four or five in the morning. That child came to the crusade. You must you must you must check me. When I see children. I take time to pray for them. It's not because I've got too much time. It's because I know what is done to this Yeah, Amen. 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 I pray for the child. She goes home. I don't know, 12 midnight, Coco says, time to work. She goes to the room of the child. She sees the child. But when she tries to touch her, it's like she's covered with a glass. She can't touch her body, but there's a glass in between. She's struggling with the glass until child is time for the money. She said, what's going on here? She said, what's going on here? The God who answers by fire. Then the following day, she goes there, she goes there, she looked for her, removed the blankets and the mattress, there's no child. Child the time, the child is there. Then when she goes there, the child is there. Then when she goes there, the child is there. Then she goes there, the child is there. The third day, I almost began to think, this child, when six o'clock, this this girl goes to do 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 by coming to church, she will break the power that covers the, the baby. The time for work came, she goes again. This time, she sees the bed on fire. She's even scared to enter the child's room. She says, I don't want to enter the room. She's even scared to enter the child's room. That's when God came and gave a laugh to cry. This testimony came from her. 
I know that this God is big. I saw with my own eyes. He's a God who answers by fire. In 2021, my God will answer you by fire. In the month of June, my God will answer you by fire. In the month of July, my God will answer you by fire. In the month of August, my God will answer you by fire. In the month of September, my God will answer you by fire. You may not see the fire, but your enemies will see the fire. You may not feel the fire, but those who hate you will feel the fire. You see the God who answers by fire. The gospel of God is the power of God. In the power of God, there's the fire of God. You can't force people to follow Christ. In the month of October, the Lord will answer you by fire. In the month of November, the Lord will answer you by fire. When God answers you by fire, He fights for you. While you are asleep, he fights for you. When you don't know, he fights for you. When you don't see, he fights for you. You will even think. I must have more more. 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 I must have more there's God who's answering by fire. They can't come near anymore. They can't come near anymore. Amen. They come to you and say, I don't know. 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 Why are they saying that? It is because they tried by their power. But they come get near you anyway. Whenever you don't know what's happening, you go to school naturally. You go to work naturally. You go everywhere naturally. You do your things naturally. But God Almighty, He answers by fire. He still does it today. He still does it today. When we ask you to give your life to Christ, we say, Come the greater one. We say, Come the miracle working one. We say, Come the one who can afford you. We say, Come the one who can change your life. The one who will give you your life. Back.